Okay, in the last video we looked at qualitatively what happens when we put acidic and basic ions in solution. Um, now let's quantitatively look at what would be the pH of these solutions. So, in order to determine the pH, we need to be able to write the hydrolysis reaction, which we did as the example at the end there. And then we also need this relationship right here, Ka times Kb equals Kw. And we know Kw has a value of 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So we will need this relationship in addition to the other things we have learned about equilibrium to make predictions about the pH of various salt solutions. So let's look at two examples. Okay. In this question, we want the pH of a 0.3 molar sodium fluoride solution. The Ka value for the conjugate acid, HF, is 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. So when I look at this, sodium is neutral, fluoride is basic. So the hydrolysis reaction I have to write for this is F minus plus H2O yields HF plus OH minus. Since this is OH minus, this expression has a Kb. And the Kb for this is equal to the concentration of HF times the concentration of OH minus divided by the concentration of F minus. So I don't have a Kb value and I want to calculate a pH, which is equilibrium concentration of hydronium ion. So I need to use this Ka value to generate the Kb value, since I know that 1 times 10 to the negative 14th equals Ka times Kb. So in this case, Kb would be equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 11th. So that's the value I'm going to use for Kb. Now that I have a Kb, I'm going to do this just like any other equilibrium problem. I have an ice table. I have water is ignored. The concentration of fluoride is 0.3. Initially those are zero. So I have to add some over here and subtract some from over there. So I get 0 0.30 minus x, x, and x. Then I take my equilibrium concentrations and plug them in. 1.4 times 10 to the negative 11th equals x squared over 0.3. Remember we can ignore the x because it's going to be much smaller than 0.3. So when I put this in my calculator, I find out that x is equal to 2.0 times 10 to the negative 6. Now that x is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. So from hydro, but I want a pH. I don't want a hydroxide ion concentration. So I think the easiest way to do this is to first calculate the pOH of the solution, which is 5.69, which means the pH of the solution is equal to 14 minus the pOH, which equals 8.31. Okay. So once you figure out the Ka and the Kb and get your hydrolysis reaction down, um, it's just another Ka, Kb calculation, just like we were doing with acids and bases, weak acids and weak bases. So now let's take a look at this last one. I want the pH of an ammonium chloride solution. I have the Kb for ammonia. So when I look at my solution, ammonium is going to be acidic because it's the conjugate base, a conjugate acid of the weak base, ammonia. Chloride is neutral. That means I'm going to write a Ka hydrolysis reaction. So to write a Ka hydrolysis reaction, I have to produce H3O plus. And then that means that I would get NH3. The Ka for this is equal to hydronium times ammonia divided by ammonium. 
Now, I need a Ka value. This is a Kb. So again, I go to this, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals Ka times Kb. And I find out that the Ka, express, Ka value 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Okay, so now I have an actual Ka value to put in there. My ice table sets up like this. 0.1 to start, 0, 0, plus x, plus x, minus x, 0 0.10 minus x, x, x. Set up my k, 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th equals x squared over 0.1. x is equal to 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6. And that is equal to hydronium, which is a good thing because now all I have to do to find the pH is take the negative log of that, which is equal to 5.13. So now I have the pH of that solution. And you can see it is acidic, just like in this last one. The pH is 8.31, which is basic because the pH is above 7. So that's how you deal quantitatively with a salt solution that is acidic or basic.